He always did things at an early age. The youngest to score at Wembley is one record he set, and that cup-winning goal wasn't a hit in hope. Believe it or not, I was actually getting back from the attack before. I was so tired, I was just stuck out in the right wing, just get me, getting the break, and then Mark hit this ball to me, and I had to sort of pull myself together and sort of just edge towards goal. And I put Pat Van Den Heuvel, I didn't actually lift him then there, but I sort of jockeyed him to, to get him in line with Neville, so he was obstructed, he couldn't see the ball. And I just used him as a screen, if you like. I'm going to play the ball just around him because when Neville could first see the ball, that, you know, from when I just played it, that was the distance his hand was away from getting it. And obviously, when I moved to Everton Football Club, um, you know, a few years after, Big Nev gave me some stick about that, but I never scored another one past them. <laughs> Belfast born, he played in the same United youth side as Mark Hughes. When he was 16, he didn't look like it and didn't play like it. Norman was um, a year younger than me. Um, but he had this skinhead, and uh, and he just played like a man, and uh, he was frightening, absolutely frightening, and uh, he 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 put himself about, but you could also see that he had some great touches and some great skill. He was homesick but single-minded. He soon settled into both his Manchester digs and the United first team, accepting and scoring from passes from the players of the likes of Brian Robson. Oh, I say, there's a gap there. And right side. How did you deal, a young lad from Northern Ireland, all of a sudden you're the youngest player to play in the World Cup, and the attention that must have created? Yeah, it was, it was a lot of attention. Well, unbelievable, really, because um, I just started... I got in the first team as a 16-year-old, Manchester United, and within a couple of weeks, Billy Bingham was taking me to Spain to play in the World Cup finals. And not only that... I just happened to be born at the right time and play on a good Northern Ireland team. And to take the title from Edson Arantes Don Asimento, uh, Pele, the world famous Pele, yeah, that was a terrific achievement. Do you remember someone called Norman Whiteside? <laughs> Ask your parents, they might. How many tickets do you want? <laughs> I'd heard about him before, and the more, more I see him, the more I like him. I don't think I've seen a 17-year-old lad with so much awareness of the game. And you can throw the comics away now, because this fellow at just 18 has put the fiction writers out of business. We're looking around this room, there's some great memories in here. Yeah, this is actually the 83 winning team where I scored to become the youngest ever player to score in the FA Cup final. And this one actually is the two years later, um, the 85. Some great players in that team. We just pointed to one of them, Brian Robson. Had some great times together. And you keep mementos from those games? Absolutely. This is actually the, the ball from the occasion where the boys were, it's getting a bit, the boys were um, kind enough to sign it for me after the game. That's the ball you bet round Pat Van Den Howe and Neville Southall? That's the one. You've got the medal there too. Is that the medal? That's the medal also from that there. In his middle. And to finish it off, I've actually got my boots here, yeah, 10 years on, but a bit antiquated as you can see. They're the boots that scored the goal. Well, this is the one, the left one. He joined Everton in 1989, but injury forced a premature retirement within two years, at just 26. Oh, they missed it, Nevin! Hit the ball! Atterveld! It's in! At last! And it's wide side! I'm sorry that Everton never got the best football out of Norman Whiteside, but that's the way injuries go. As physio of North Victoria, Norman kept an involvement in the game, and it's the medical side of football he has a great interest in. It's a full-time degree course in podiatry that he's chosen. Good morning. Having trodden on so many feet during his playing career, many people think it only right and proper that the balance be redressed. I didn't realise how, how much was involved. And we're coming up to the end of the second year now, and it is really, really hard work. 
and instead of preparing for a cup final, I'm preparing for exams this week, so it's really different. He still has an active involvement at Old Trafford. He's a regular host in United's hospitality suites. And if he ever needs a reference... Of all the players that's in my time here, he would rank among the top six without question. Temperament, composure, control, passing awareness, competitiveness, he had a lot. He just said that one thing, it was not his problem, you know, it was an injury that he, he never quite got over. But oh, marvellous, cold as steel, temperament unbelievable. Could play in the biggest stage in the world, no doubt about that. He nearly always did, he was a fine player. Ray Stubbs with that report. Well now the teams are either leaving or have just left, so let's pick up those pictures once again of uh, 